Hello, how are you doing? Are you well? Have you had a, a good week? I hope you have. I've been uh, learning a card trick this week for this wee word, so I'm hoping it's going to work. I think it probably will. So here we go. The first thing I have to do is to just mix the cards. So there we go. You'll have to trust me that I am mixing the cards, but I'm a minister, so you can trust me, can't you? So there we are, cards are mixed. Now I have to cut the pack like that. And then I have to ask you to think about a card. It can be any card at all, doesn't matter. Uh, it can be a heart or it can be a diamond, it can be a spade or a club, it can be any of the numbers, it can be a jack, a king or the queen. Any club you want, you just have to think about one. So think about that card that you want. Okay. So then we tap the pack three times and we snap our fingers and that's your card. Seven of hearts. Yes? No. Are you sure? No? Oh, well, that was supposed to work. I mean, according to this book that I that I've got, that I, I've read, it was supposed to work. All I had to do was mix the pack and then cut the pack and then ask you to think about a card and then tap the pack three times, snap my fingers, and that would be the card. I mean, there was other stuff uh, in between that, but I, I, I didn't have time to read all that. But I thought it's a magic trick. So um, all I have to do is, is just snap my fingers and, and it'll work. I suppose that was a bit... Stupid, really, wasn't it? I mean, nothing's that easy. Lots of people think that uh, life should be easy, that all they have to do is snap their fingers for things to be OK, for things to work out all right, to go the way they want them to go. But that isn't how life works. In Jesus' day, people thought the same thing. There's a story about a time that Jesus was telling his disciples, his closest friends, what was going to happen. He was telling them that the time would come when Jesus would be arrested and when he would be put on trial and he'd be found guilty and he'd be condemned to death and he'd be crucified. And the disciples didn't want to hear this. This was terrible for them. And one of the disciples, Peter, one of Jesus' closest friends, he took Jesus to one side and the Bible tells us that he rebuked him, which just means he said to Jesus, you can't talk like this. This is not going to happen. You are the son of God. You're the Messiah. You can't die. And Jesus got quite angry with Peter because he didn't understand. And Jesus said to Peter and he said to the other disciples and he said to the crowd, he said to them, if you want to follow me, if you really want to follow me, then you have to take up your cross and follow me. Jesus was saying to them, this isn't easy. Following me, be my disciple, it's not easy. You're not just going to snap your fingers and everything's going to work out. Jesus could have done that. Jesus could have snapped his fingers and everything would have been OK. He was the son of God. But Jesus knew it wasn't that easy. It's not that easy for us either. Being a disciple of Jesus can be hard work. It can be hard to follow Jesus in the world that we live in, to live our lives the way that Jesus wants us to live them. We don't do that by snapping our fingers. We do that by every day thinking about how Jesus wants us to live. And sometimes that's really not easy. But it's what Jesus wants us to do. So this week, you do your best, the best you can, to think about how Jesus wants you to live your life, thinking about other people, caring for other people, loving your neighbour, loving the people around you. You think about that and try to do the best you can. It's not easy, but it's worth it. You take care, you have a good week, and I'll see you very soon.
God bless. Bye.